Hey everyone, welcome back to my next video. I had someone ask for a makeup look on one of my videos and I wear the exact same makeup every single day. So this is what it looks like. Very natural, very easy, maximum 15 minutes. So if you want to see how I wear my makeup every single day, just keep watching. long to be honest I usually do this in the car if I'm going somewhere otherwise I don't really wear makeup unless I'm going to meet someone or going to work or going to an event if I'm going to an event I don't do my makeup in the car um, I like to sit in front of the mirror and do it so anyways today is my everyday makeup go-to um, and I'll show you all the products I use too. Okay, so I have a clean face. Um, I just used a makeup wipe last night and got off some like extra makeup I had on today. Typically, I don't put like a primer. I don't use um, lotion unless my skin is really dry. Right now it's not too bad, so I'm not gonna do anything to it. I'm just gonna start with my foundation. And this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I have the color 203 Nude Beige, so I'm just going to start with this. I don't use a lot, and I actually just apply it straight from the bottle. And I put on a little swoop right here, and a little swoop right here, and then a little tiny dot here. There is, like, no rhyme or reason to why I do this. My brushes need to be cleaned desperately, but I don't even know where I got this. I'm pretty sure it's the Sonia Kashuk from Target. And it's a, maybe a foundation brush, I don't know. I just rub it into my skin, you know, like you do with foundation. So I really like this foundation. I um, was kind of getting pale after the summer, like in the fall time. And I just needed something that matched my skin more than, what was the last thing I used? Um, maybe the IT Cosmetics CC Cream which I love, but I needed something a little bit lighter. I think I was going to Thanksgiving. No, it wasn't Thanksgiving. I don't know. I was going somewhere and I needed a lighter foundation. So I went to Kroger, which is right outside my neighborhood. And I just picked up this foundation and I didn't really have high hopes for it. I actually love it. Oh, I know where I was going. I was going to a pop-up shop that we had and I got so many compliments on my skin. Okay, so it looks really orange right now because my my uh, neck's pretty pale. And honestly, I feel like the foundation kind of like evens out after you apply it. So yeah, I think this foundation's like 10 bucks. I think you can get it cheaper at Ulta. And I really, really like it. So they have the Pro Glow, which is for normal and dry skin. And they have a matte version that's for oily skin. I have dry skin. Um, and I honestly don't really like things that say glow in them because I don't like to have like dewy skin, but I actually really, I really like this foundation and it's a good um, cheap version and it lasts quite a while. My favorite foundation is the Naked Skin and I have that for summertime. That was like my wedding foundation. So I got like a nice foundation for all my wedding festivities. So that was when I was much, much darker. And um, that's my favorite, but this is actually a pretty good version or a pretty good alternative. Okay, so now my foundation is on and I go in next with some concealer under my eyes and I use the Tarte Shape Tape, of course. This is the color Fair Neutral and I think it's a little bit light. Um, I also have the light light neutral which is too dark for me right now and it's pretty much out um so i think i might need something in between especially when i get tanner so i just put this under my eyes like this a little bit goes a long way with this but i really love this concealer i used to use um a tiny beauty blender for this under my eyes and i really liked it 
um, but they just get so dirty so fast. So now I use this expert face brush from um, Eco, no, Real Techniques. You can find this at Ulta. And I actually really like how this makes it apply. So I felt like the Beauty Blender kind of soaked in too much and this keeps it on the skin a little bit more. And I'm able to have a little bit more uh, coverage, like I can control where it goes a little bit more. I swear the lighting makes this look so weird. I hope it doesn't look that weird when I upload it. I'm in front of a window right now. I'm in my guest room office. Um, so it is a little bit brighter than normal. So that's one eye done. And I do go over my eyelid because I feel like this concealer is a pretty good primer base for eyeshadow. Sometimes I don't even apply eyeshadow because I just want this kind of like bright, bright eyed look. So concealer is done. But next I will move on to my eyes and typically every day I use the Tarte Lit in Bloom palette from Tarte. And honestly, the reason why is because it fits in my makeup bag. My makeup bag's pretty small. It's this really old Tory Burch makeup bag. I actually probably need a bigger one, um, but this fits right inside it, so that's why I take this one. But I do actually really love this palette. Um, it has a lot of neutrals, but you can also do a smoky eye for a, a nice look. So if you're traveling, this is a great palette. The other palette I have, I have right here from last time I did my makeup. The Naked 2, I love this too, but this is too long for my makeup bag, so I don't have it in there currently. Typically, I'll go in with this uh, neutral matte look, the Flower Child, and then sometimes I'll mix it with Funny Girl, and I just put that all over my eye. So today I'm just going to go in with the Flower Child. And this is pretty much the same color as my eyelid. So if I'm going to work, I'll pretty much just put this on. It kind of smooths it out too. Like if I am going to put eyeshadow on over my um, concealer, I'll just put this. I think I am going to go in with Funny Girl today. And this just puts a little more shimmer, a little bit more of a gold color, which I find sometimes brings out the blue in my eyes. Okay. Oh, and I was just using this really cheap e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. And then I'll take this Real Techniques base shadow brush. I know it says base, but I use this for crease and outer corner. And usually I'll go in with this Smarty Pants matte shade and this Rebel. It's kind of like a mauve. They look really dark on camera right now, but they're really not that dark. So I'll mix both of those. And then just put it here in the corner and that warms it up a little bit, gives it a little more definition. And I don't do this every day, but sometimes I'm feeling it. On the weekends, I'll wear a little bit more makeup if I put makeup on. But as you can see, that's really natural. Honestly, you probably can't even see it. <laughs> but I can see it in real life. So I don't wear that much makeup. If I do, Add a little bit more. I'll go in with either this shimmery firecracker shade or I'll go in with this darker mauve leader. I'm actually kind of feeling firecracker right now so I'm gonna go in with that. And then I have this BH Cosmetics like fluffy blending brush I think and I'll sometimes go in and just clean up the line a little bit and that's it. So that was my eyeshadow and then after that I'll sometimes put on um, some lip balm if I'm feeling like my lips are dry and they are. Yesterday was a pretty windy day and I was outside for most of the day so my lips got pretty chapped but I just used this sugar fresh it's not colored or scented or anything i really love these i have like this is like the little set that i got like eight different colors on it 
um, but I have a few of the big ones and I really like those. Okay, so next I do my eyelashes and I have this um, all black, of course, um, eyelash curler from Sephora and I really like this one. I go through eyelash curlers a lot for some reason. I lose them, I break them, mostly just I lose them. So <laughs> I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes. And then I do have a few different um, mascaras that I use, but uh, I'll just walk through some of the ones I have right now. Uh, I did pick up the Lash Paradise, and I like it a lot, actually. I think for a cheaper drugstore mascara, it's really good. I think it looks pretty natural. It's pretty vol voluminous. Um, the only thing I don't like is how small it is. Like, compared to some of my other mascaras, it's... I mean, this one is kind of the same size, but it just feels really small. It doesn't feel like there's as much product in it as some of the nicer, like, Ulta and Sephora mascaras. But for a cheap drugstore, like, if you forget your mascara and you're traveling and you need to pick something up, I highly suggest that. And I do use that pretty often. But my favorite, and my favorite duo, um, is the Tarte, Tardis uh, mascara. The brush is kind of one of those rubber or silicone, whatever, brushes. Um, so I don't know if you can see, but it's very fine and you can get a lot of definition with these. As you can see, it's kind of separating my eyelashes, actually making them look pretty long just because it's, it helps hold the curl. So if I'm only going to put one mascara on, I'll use this one. And I typically don't pump the mascara in the bottle for both um, eyes just because I feel like there's enough product on this. And once you've used some of the product and kind of fanned out your eyelashes, too much product will be clumpy. So I do both upper as soon as I curl them. This makes such a difference. And then just do the bottom real quick. Okay, so that was one coat of mascara. I let this dry um, because if it's wet and I put on another coat, either of the same or a different mascara, it gets super, super clumpy, and I don't like that. I like my eyelashes to be fanned out as much as I can get them to. So next, I will go in with my blush, and I just use this Tarte um, blush sampler that came with my birthday gift from Sephora, but it's called Party. So three A's, party. And then I use this Real Techniques blush brush, blush, brush, that's weird to say. And I just take it right here. And I don't use, honestly, that much. The good thing about this color is that it's like a neutral, so it's almost like a bronzer and a blush at the same time. Okay, so that's on. If you can tell, you probably can't on this camera. And this is pretty much what I'll wear to work or just running errands. And it's very simple. But sometimes I do go in with a few extra products and I'll show you that now. This is from Rodeal. It is the Instagram Compact Deluxe Contouring Powder in shade 3. I was sent this from Rodeal a few months ago and I haven't featured it yet. Um, on my Instagram or anything, but I have been using this a lot. It's just like a bronzing powder, but not a bronzer that you would apply largely. I'd go in with this Real Techniques foundation brush, actually, because it has an angle and it's pretty thin. And I just tap in and apply just right here. And it's a neutral bronzer, so it's not orange and it really looks like a shadow. So yeah, this is really good for contouring. Pretty much only use it here on my face, or <laughs> on my cheeks. Just cause I'm not that into like contouring my nose. I don't know how to do that. And then another product I really love for my eyebrows. I pretty much never do my eyebrows unless it's a 
special occasion or I'm doing a photo shoot or I'm filming a video. But I do like the It Cosmetics brow power. I'm missing the little end here. This is just a pencil, pencil format. And it has a spoolie on the end, which I like the spoolie. So sometimes I'll use the spoolie to kind of tame them. And then I like to go in with this Archery Volume Boost. This is, um, let's see if it says Brow Fiber Gel. This is from Soap and Glory. So this is pretty inexpensive. It's a lot like the Benefit Gimme Brow, which I love. But the brush is really small. And I use the color Mocha Up Your Mind. It's pretty dark, but I like to have dark darker eyebrows. It's a little bit messy application. A lot of product comes out, so I'll fix it later. See? <laughs> but yeah, I go in, I go in with this sometimes. Not very often do I use it, but it, it, it does look pretty natural. I probably should use it a little bit more. Desperately need to get my eyebrows done, but I'm trying to save money, so. I have it in a while. So as you can see, I'm a little bit messy here. So I'm just gonna take a little paper towel, clean that up. Sometimes I just take my finger. That's backfiring on me. <laughs> All right, so once I have it applied, I'll go back in with this spoolie on the end of the It Cosmetics brow thing. And this kind of spreads it out, makes it look a little bit more natural. All right, doing your brows actually makes a big difference. I probably should do this more often. Uh, and then if I feel like it, I will go in with the Stila Huge can't read it but this is a great mascara I actually just found this over here I haven't used it in a while but the brush is kind of like a normal traditional brush and sometimes I'll go in once my mascara is dry and use this and it really pumps up the volume <laughs> it makes it a little bit thicker sometimes it gets too clumpy so I don't use this a ton but today why not since I'm showing you guys my stuff. And I'll usually only put this on the top, not on the bottom. All right, so now I'm finished. I don't use like a loose powder or anything. I just go, it's that easy. I think it took 15 minutes at the most and this is more than I typically will do for work. Super simple, not a lot of products, not a lot of time wasted doing your makeup. Um, like I said, I will do a little bit more if I'm going to an event. I'll do some eyeshadow under the eyes, a little heavier on the outside corners, but ooh. but pretty much this is my base makeup, my everyday makeup. It's really simple. I don't know what I'm doing, so it works for me. Uh, if you guys want to see any other videos, makeup is not my thing, so there probably won't be any more makeup videos coming, but anything hair tutorials, fashion, anything like that, just let me know in the comments below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.